Hey guys, so Grady here. It's been a good day so far. Um, but I am here to talk about something important. We all need to stop spreading hate, okay? I'm not saying everybody does it. And I'm definitely not saying that it's only Trump supporters who do this. It's not just Trump supporters. It's not. It's not. That's... Pff, that would be, like, ridiculous for me to say that. A lot of Trump supporters spread hate, but I wouldn't even say all of them do. In fact, I was talking to one the other day, and I said to her, you know, I don't like him because he's just going around spreading hate. And this woman said, I mean, I voted for him, but I agree with what you're saying. You know, she understands that Trump is spreading hate, you know, and that's not good. And she even said, I didn't even go around spreading the hate when Obama was in office. And I said, but see, you realize that it's not okay. A lot of people don't realize that who are in Trump's base. But guys, this isn't just something that Trump supporters do. It's not. It's it's just not, okay? It's not. I'm not just saying, oh, well, it's just you Trump supporter. No, it's not. Trust me. A lot of you Trump supporters are actually, you're not, you guys are not hateful people. I think you're confused by what Trump is doing, by what Trump is saying versus what he's actually doing, but you're not, it doesn't make you a bad person because you voted for Trump. It doesn't. It doesn't make you a bad person at all. You aren't a bad person. If you back him up on everything that he's doing, knowing that he's doing bad things, then yes, that makes you a bad person. But we need to stop spreading hate, okay? It's not necessary. I don't spread hate. I mean, I can't stand Donald Trump, and yes, I hate him, but at the same time, I don't wish him or anyone in his family death or illness. I don't. That's horrible. God. I would never wish. I don't even wish that upon Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea. I don't wish that upon him either, because that is just horrible that, you know, that people would actually sink to and stoop to that level. That's just freaking horrible. It is. It's horrible. Okay? It, it's horrible. That's, that's the way it is. It's horrible. You know? It's not, it's really not cool to go around spreading hate. And a lot of you people in Trump's base, not all of you, but a lot of you, you really think you're making the country great again by calling other people these horrible, highly offensive na Really? You really think that that is making the country better? Because I'm telling you now that that's what Trump wants us to do. He wants us to be turned against each other so that when his evil plan with North Korea finally comes into play, that he can kill us all, and we're all going to say, wait, but we didn't, and then he'll be like, yeah, you did do that, because I made you do that. He's turning us against each other, guys. I mean, I don't go around hating on other people. I don't. I'm a Republican, okay? Republicans and Democrats in general just don't believe in that, okay? I have tons of friends that are Democrats. I have tons of friends that are Republicans. I don't spread hate to any of them, okay? And yeah, I know how a lot of them feel about the Republican Party. And I say to them, you know, like, I don't blame you. And I don't. Check it out, we're in the neighborhood, guys. I don't blame them. But at the same time, I don't wish any of my friends ill or death. Or I don't do that because that is wrong. And yeah, a lot of religious people will say that, the same thing. I'm not religious and I'm saying that. You don't have to be religious to go around saying, you know, whatever about, oh, well, I don't wish anybody death. You don't have to be religious by saying that. I don't wish people death. I don't. Okay? I don't. I really don't. I don't want that for any of you. I don't. I don't want that for any of you. I care about each and every one of you. Guys, I gotta change the battery. This one's dying. Hang on. But guys, as I was saying, I'm not gonna go around spreading hate. I'm not gonna do that, you know? You people in Trump's base, oh yeah, yeah, we're respectable Republicans. Yeah, okay, whatever, I believe you. And then you turn around 
you use these horrible, just horrible terms towards people of the other side just because you don't, really, if you don't like their disagreements, then you can leave, okay? You're welcome to just pack your bags and leave because you're wasting your time and our time. I don't care. You guys say whatever you want. I'm a Republican. No, I do not like Donald Trump. No, I'm not a Democrat. I am, well, I'm going to vote Democrat in the midterms and in the next election, but no, I was not raised Democrat. I was raised Republican. Okay? I was raised Republican. Say whatever you want. Oh, you left wing or born and raised. No, I was raised Republican. Okay? But I was raised to respect others, even if I didn't agree with them on something. No. No, I don't agree with anything that Trump is doing. Not one thing. Because unlike you people in Trump's base, I actually listen to the real news and I read the newspaper. You know, you really don't have any reason to say anything either way if you're not watching the news. I mean the real news or if you're not reading the paper. And that goes for those of you who aren't in Trump's base and who aren't even Republicans who aren't watching the news anymore or reading the newspaper anymore. I mean, like, why? Why would you, why would you do that? You know? I don't want to give you too much shit. I don't, but still, it's strange. It's like, if you just don't care, then this is a huge problem. There really is something going on. There's an investigation going on, and it isn't bullshit. It's real. It's real, and it has to do with the Trump campaign getting help from a foreign government. You guys say whatever. Oh, it's been almost two years. There's been no evidence that's come out. Yeah, you know how long the average investigation like that takes? It takes four years on average, so yeah. There hasn't been any real proof. Yet. Yet. Yet is the key word. There hasn't been any real proof yet. There hasn't been. You know? I don't care what you guys say. There's just been no proof of it yet. You know? You guys make up, might wake up one morning and Mueller might be taking the papers over and there we go. Trump's gonna be impeached and you guys say, oh yeah, he'll win another term. Yeah, if Russia cheats him into office. Mueller has been turning people against Trump left and right because it was either they admitted that Trump was bad or they went to prison and they made the smart choice and instead decided that they were going to turn against Trump. So I'm just telling you, it's a very, very distinct possibility that he might not make it even his full first term, okay? It might not work out like you think. I'm just telling you, it is a very, very distinct possibility. Okay? We have real problems here. We do, we have real problems here. Come on, dude. Come on. Gotta head back home. Um, we have a real problem here and we can't, we can't go around spreading hate. I'm not, you know, you don't hear me walking around calling people who don't agree with me bad names. I don't do that because I'm a respectable, respectful person. I know better than that. You guys clearly don't. It's unnecessary. And you guys say, oh yeah, I'm proud to live in the United States. United States? Huh. Because last I checked, they were divided as can be. And they still are. It's not that they were, it's that they still are. They're still so damn divided because you people, you, Trump's base, you still think we need to call people names, don't you? You still think we need to call people names? It's the same bullshit. No offense, but it's the same bullshit, okay? It is. I know I said I wasn't going to swear a lot on this channel, but sometimes it's necessary, and it is. It's the same bullshit, okay? That's what it is. It's the same bullshit.
it's the same literal bullshit. You know, I really don't want to, you know, don't think I'm hating on you guys. I'm not, okay? I'm not. I'm not hating on you. I feel rather sorry for a lot of you because I know that you're all confused and you guys think that Trump is doing all these wonderful things. No, he's not, okay? Watch other channels other than Fox, okay? I mean, like, do you even understand at all what's going on with him and Kim? Like, really? Guys, Kim is a terrible, horrible person. Kim Jong-un has literally had his own family members shot, beaten, murdered, raped, slaughtered, tortured, killed, etc. And he's appointed officials to do the same thing to millions of innocent North Koreans. Okay? He's appointed officials to do that. That's horrible. And then we have a president that's sitting there demanding that we praise Kim Jong-un like a god. And then he's going around, you know what he's doing to our allies? He's giving them the big bird. Which means, yes, he's giving them the middle finger. That's not freaking cool, okay? I mean, I agree. Past presidents wanted to, you know, try and make peace talks with North Korea and people say, you know, well, Trump's just doing that to protect us. No. He has, he has freedom of speech in this country. He can say on public television, no, Kim is a liar and he's a jerk and he's a criminal and I don't want to be friends with somebody like that. But no, instead, Trump is all sweet-talking him. You know, oh, Kim is such a wonderful man. He should be loved, respected, and praised like a god by everybody throughout the world. He's such an honest, honorable, good-hearted, nice caring man. Just shut your mouth, Trump. And that's what I'm saying to you, the so-called Republican that sees this. If you aren't watching the news, I mean real news, reading the newspaper, watching the news, watch, watch other channels other than Fox. Just keep your mouth shut because you don't know what's going on. I'm telling you, we have a huge problem here, okay? From one Republican to another. You know, and I'm sure, I'm almost sure that Russian bots will see this, that there will be crap underneath this. I'm sure there's going to be some more and that's going to, you know, Trump 2020. Uh, as I said before, it most likely won't work out like you think, okay? You know, you guys say whatever, oh, Pence is worse. Yeah, Pence is worse, but most likely if Trump gets out of there, they're going to get Pence out of there too. Guys, there's no evidence against Hillary Clinton. There's none. Oh, what? Uranium One? You guys need to watch the news. You do. You need to watch the news. Uranium One is something that they're throwing up there. It's like, look over here. There's no ev Nobody in the Clinton campaign or Hillary Clinton has been indicted, guys. Have you guys ever heard of Paul Manafort, Mike Flynn? Don Jr. and Jared Kushner are probably next, guys. You need to start reading the news. I mean the real news, okay? Stop stop listening to Fox News and you people who loved John McCain and praised him on the fact that he defended, completely defended Obama from racism. You guys are the same people who are going around being horribly offensive to Obama, treating him like shit, and you are the same people who wanted John McCain to win, because unlike Donald Trump, John McCain is an honest, kind-hearted, caring person, okay? He is. He is a caring person. Donald Trump is not. I can give you guys one word, exactly one word for what Donald Trump has done for me and my family. And that word is nothing, and you guys can say whatever. Oh, well, uh, you're rich, right? I don't care, I don't care. Don't you want a president to do something for your own benefit, like really? Because if you don't, then there's something wrong there. That just goes to show laziness. It does, I see that as laziness. I do, I see it as complete and total laziness. And it goes to show that you guys just don't care. You just wanted him in there because you just could not stand the thought of having Hillary, a woman, in office because you guys are sexist. That's how it is. And, you know, you women who are, like, backing Trump, like, why do you back him? Like, seriously, he's not nice to women at all. He's not. You know, 
Not many people can say that they've met Donald Trump in person, okay? I can. And I'll be honest, he was not nice to me or my family at all. He was horrible to the four of us. You know, we met him at, you know, he's not a good person. He's not, he's a bad person who wants to do bad things for the government and for the country and for our lives. He doesn't give a shit about the environment. You people in Trump space, you're like, oh yeah, I care about the environment. Not if you voted for Trump, you don't. That idiot thinks that climate change is fake. Look outside, open your frickin' window and look outside because climate change is right there in front of your face. You're just too blind to see it. You are, you're just too blind to see it. I cannot believe people say, oh, well, climate change is fake. All right, if that's your argument, then I'm gonna say that everything about science is fake and that we should all just believe in what Jesus said. But no, Jesus was made up by somebody. And if Jesus is fake, and if climate change has to do with science, then science is obviously not fake. But I'm not gonna, you know, tell you guys, oh, well, you just flat out can't believe in Jesus. I'm not. It's fun to believe in things that aren't real. It is. It's so fun to believe in that stuff, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna judge you or hate on you if you guys say, you know, oh, God bless you or Jesus loves you in my comments. I'm not. I am gonna judge you if you start being a hateful prick, though. If you're gonna be a racist, hateful prick, I'm going to judge you like mad, but I'm not gonna retaliate with hatred and violence because unlike most people, I actually don't believe in that. And I don't want that because I know that that's not right and that's not right for our country. I know that, okay, I know that. That is not what's right for our country and for, you know, the world. You know, I mean, I'm surprised you guys are not bothered by the fact that Trump is literally giving our allies the middle finger. Like, you just don't care? You think we can just take care of ourselves? Guys, if China was an enemy of ours, we would be destroyed. China is far too powerful. We cannot, we, the United States, could not take on China alone. Not, not at this day and age. Maybe in the past, maybe a few years ago, maybe even just a few months ago, but now, mm -mm. China is way too advanced and way too powerful for us, so we better be glad that we're not enemies of China, okay? No, I don't want these tariffs put on these places. I don't want that. I don't freaking want that. I don't want the tariffs. I don't, I don't want them at all. Okay, I want them gone. I want the tariffs to just be gone. We should just be able to trade with whoever we want. And guys, just because we trade with somebody doesn't make them an ally. But China's neither an ally nor an enemy. That's the thing. We are mixed with China. We are very, very mixed with China. But anyways, guys, look. I don't wish any of you hatefulness. I don't wish any of you violence. I definitely don't wish any of you ill. And I really hope you lousy Trump supporters listen to me when I tell you that spreading hate is not the answer. You really think that's making the United States great again? Pfft, what United States? I don't know of this country you guys call the United States. The one I know of is below Canada and it's divided as hell and it has been ever since we elected that orange fucker into office. Seriously, that's how it's been. It's been frickin' horrible. I don't feel safe anymore, guys. I just do not feel safe. And you guys can say, oh, well, you're welcome to leave. Yeah, and put my family in danger. Yeah, I don't feel safe, but I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna put my family in danger. You know? If they want to continue living here, then that's their own mistake. 
because I hate living here. And I don't care what you guys say. Oh, well, that flag should be an honor to you because it's your freedom. I don't care about my freedom. You guys know that. I. This is what I say to my freedom. This is my message to freedom, okay? That's my message to freedom. Every day I say, fuck off, freedom, or, you know... Things like that. I don't care one bit about my freedom. My freedom means nothing to me. Anyways, guys, that's going to mark it for this video. I'll see you all in the next video. I really hope you all have a peaceful day, and I don't care, you know, what your beliefs are, politically, religiously, whatever. I want you all to have a peaceful day. All right, bye, guys.